Chidima. That's my name. I am an orphan who was adopted by a very kind couple, Helen and her husband Thomas. Three years after I was adopted by Helen and her husband, Helen miraculously got pregnant and had two beautiful daughters named Bianca and Linda. My adopted father believed so much that I was the one who opened his wife's womb. So he showered me with so much love that no one could barely tell that I wasn't his biological daughter. Years later, Thomas lost his life in a ghastly car accident which led to Bianca and Linda discovering that I wasn't their biological sister. And that changed everything. The home I once knew became a living hell. Open up. Who dare lock us out? So the doors locked. Why would you lock us out? Who's the imbecile that locked us out? There can only be one. Chilima! Open the door! Oh my goodness! Chilima! Oh, she just opened the door! Chilima! Chilima! Why would you lock us out? Why is the imbecile that locked us out? There can only be one. Chilima! Open the door! Chilima! Oh my goodness! She just opened the door! Chilima! Oh Mom! Did you lock us out? Why will I do that? Mommy, please open the gate! It's scary out here! I told you! I told you it's that imbecile that locked us out! <laughs> Mommy, will you open first? I want to pee! The gate is locked. But I told her to stand by the gate and open it for you when you people come back. Where is she, by the way? Ah, yeah, here. Where right here? Ma, good morning, ma. Hey, good afternoon. Did I not tell you to open to stand and open the gate for my children to when they come back? And you're here, just do, do it. Come on, go and open the gate. Oh, oh, you're giving. Go and open the gate. Fast. Ah. Open up. Ah. Open up. No, Open up. Open up. Two thirty five. Turn up. How dare you lock us out? I'm sorry, I, I thought you were sleeping out tonight. What? Stop. Didn't I tell you not to lock the door? They were coming back too. Still that. I'm sorry, I slept off. Sorry, too happy. Sorry for yourself. It's okay, girls. Go, go, go to your room. It's okay. What is it? Lock up the gate. Lock up that gate first. Jesus. Hello? I'm in my room. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. 
So you run back into your room, knowing that you would want to eat before going to bed. Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. You're always sorry. That's why you're so stupid. What's for dinner? Spaghetti. Bring some to my room. And make it to... Bye, honey. <laughs> Ma, is there anything else you want me to do before I go to bed? And that's the reason you're standing here staring at me like some celebrity. Can you just get my food and get out of my sight? <laughs> go to bed. So who's going to clear up the plate after we're done eating? Please give me my food. See, 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 I'm, I'm getting this shoe. See, I'm getting this shoe. Wait outside, when we're done, we'll call you. Ah. Let me see. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm waiting for you to come and help me finish it. Will you take these plates back to the kitchen? Come on, finish this plate, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Make sure you wash the plates and tidy up the kitchen before you go to your room. Like, don't open your eyes, you just want to use your head and hit the wall. Nonsense, see, I do not hurt. Hey, wait, 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 come back, look, take it. There is hope for the day. Please, you get out. There is hope for tomorrow. Ah! Ah! My baby just bugs me, take it to Paris. I'm going to Paris. <laughs> Just a little longer Yeah Just a little longer mm -hmm. Hold on 
is ready. Wake the girls up and tell them breakfast is ready. Okay, ma. Breakfast is ready. Are you there? Are you up? I'm coming in. Yanka, Linda, breakfast is ready. Where are you, the full stand? Do you just wake me up from my precious sleep? The breakfast is ready. and her daughters are sluts. So they have been sleeping with Mr. Jeffrey. You know, Mom, I don't even know what Mr. Jeffrey saw in that cheap daughters of Mrs. K. You have said it all. Cheap daughters, isn't it? Yeah. Cheap commodities sell fast. <laughs> You're right, Mommy. Chidima. Chidima! Yes! Ah! Oh. I want more toast bread. Okay. And hey, wait. Stop making us to always be screaming your name whenever we need anything. So when you get her toast bread for her, make sure you stand here and wait for our next instructions. You can go. Hi, 
Okay, 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 I'll do that after I'm done washing the clothes. Whatever. Just do it. Only that acting like she's going to die. <laughs> yes, she can dive all of her. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, this is Bianca. I got this hair for two million there. And uh... Hey! Live <laughs> moves! <laughs> <laughs> You're mad! I'm making a live video! That's my hair! You forgot those ones! You're becoming so forgetful these days! Is it old age or something? Once you are done, you go to the market and get the items and address so we can make stew and soup. Okay, ma. Hold on, it will be alright 
I kept it here. What's here? Hey, where is the money? Do you mean that you can't find the money that I gave you just now to get me some items from the market? Ma, I don't know how it happened. I, I went to fetch water so I would rinse one of the clothes that fell off from the wire. By the time I returned to the spot where I was washing, I couldn't find the money where I kept it. I don't even know how it happened. I don't know who took it. That shouldn't be my problem. Go and find that money and go to the market and get me the items I asked you to buy. Ma, get out of my sight. How do I find money? I don't have any What money? part of get out of my sight don't you understand? Yeah, come in. Uh, excuse me, ma. Ah, uh, what? Speak. Um, I want to find out if by chance any of you saw money where I was... What money? Yes, what money? Don't you dare ever ask such useless question again. And make sure you don't knock on that door again. Now get out. But I will just... Get out! Out! Huh. Nonsense. Hey, did you see my red dress? Did you take that money? I'm between two faces. My beliefs and my fears. All of my words. <laughs> okay, you know what, love it. I'll call you back later, okay? We we'll talk. I'll call you back. Me? Hmm? Okay. Ma. I have searched the whole compound. I still can't find the money. You what? You what? You want me to give you another money, isn't it? You want me to give you another money? I gave you money not long ago, <laughs> and you're here telling me you can't find the money. Do you think I grow money in this compound? Did you see any money tree in this compound? Answer me! No, ma. You see that money you misplaced? Answer me! You see that money you misplaced? Yes. It's your food money for one week. It's your food money for one week. Now go into the room. I have some money there. Go and take the same amount I gave you. If you like, take everything. Pack everything and you see what I'll do to you. Now get out of my sight. Give it back. Bien. 
Monica! Ma, 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 Sorry, please don't mind these children. You know they can be funny sometimes. Mm, okay, so let's leave it for tomorrow. 2 p.m. will be fine. Okay, all right. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hi. I've been trying to talk to you and you're not answering. Me? Yes, you. Are you surprised? Can't I talk to someone like you? What do you want, please, sir? Uh, sorry, my manners. My name is Kelvin, and you? I'm in a hurry. Um, hey, hey, hey. Sorry, hey. don't follow me, please. Stop it. to follow me here. What do you want from me? Hey, hold on. Your name. I told you mine, but you didn't tell me yours. I don't want to tell you my name. You want to get me into trouble with my mom. Your mom? It's fine. I, I could see your mom, though. See who? Are you insane? <laughs> hey, look. Um, Can I at least get your contact so I could... No, you cannot get my contact. Listen, I have a very strict mom, and she will not appreciate you being here, asking for my number. Just leave me alone. Go. Mama, calm down. How did you know my name? Okay, fine. While I was coming, I had to ask um, the, one of the persons I saw in your neighborhood and they told me your name. Look, I just want to get to know you. What okay? are you talking about? Just g give me a chance to get I to know you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to get to know you. Just call my mom. Call my anyone from now. Just leave. Don't put me into trouble. Okay? Hey, look, I mean no trouble. Come on. Go away. Please just go. Hello, ma. Hi. Who is that young man? I, I, I don't know him, ma. You don't know him? But you're just coming from outside. Yes, ma. But I, I didn't see him. I don't know him. I don't know who he is. Have you met her sisters too? Oh, she has other sisters? Ah, two beautiful sisters. Oh. Linda and Bianca. And I'm not surprised you've not met them because they're always busy in the kitchen with house chores. Mm -hmm. Unlike uh, Chidema who have time to roam about their neighborhood. Mm. She seems to me like the calm type. Mm -hmm. What is that doing here? Why is he coming inside? How soon does your parents why did he put me into trouble? What's really all this? What kind of problem yeah. is this now? Eh? Why did he put me here? My parents wanted a big family. Well, fortunately, they had just me. So they're looking for a way to increase the family by having grandchildren. So as soon as possible. I understand. And I thank God for blessing me with three wonderful children. Let me call them to come and say hi to you. Okay. Um, Linda! Linda! 
Please come. Come with your sister. Okay. Mm. Call your sister. We have a special guest. Okay, mom. Mm. Kelvin, this is um, Linda and Yanka. This is Kelvin. Hi. Hi. Hi, Linus. Nice to meet you, Linus. Same here. Um, Chidima. Chidima. Yes, ma'am. Please come. Chidema, you never told me you have um, such a wonderful friend as this mommy. He's not my friend, ma'am. Don't lie to me. I am not angry. Eh? At least he's a decent man for coming to make his attention known to your family. I respect you for that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Welcome. I don't know him, ma'am. You can go back and do what you do. Okay. Um, Ma, yeah. um, please, I would like to endure your permission. I would love to take Chidima out on a date, at least to get to know her. Mm. I would have loved you to take her out for dinner. But sadly, she is engaged. Engaged? Yes. The guy's family are coming for the final marriage rites in a few weeks. So I'm sorry she is taking. Hmm. Well, it's it's so sad. I I really love your family. Yeah, and I wanted to be your son in law. Oh, so sweet, Kelvin. I like you already. But the good news is, I have two beautiful daughters here. They are single. So if you are interested in any of them, I give my permission. Really? Yeah, you are a decent man, Kelvin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, thank you very much. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I would love to take my leave now. Thank you for inviting me over and at least hearing me out. Thank I appreciate people. it. Thank you for coming, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah. The same up to the gate. Thank you, Mom. All right. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. You had to tell Linda to see him off, right? Because she's your favorite. Don't start, Bianca. Don't start. Don't. Invited me out on a date tonight. Ah! Yes. He is such a fine, rich guy. I can say that again. Mommy, did you see the car parked outside? Why do you think I invited him to the house? Oh he said it's one of his cars. <gasps> so he has many cars? Many, exactly. Oh my God. Exactly. Ah! 
I saw what you did there. I trust your mommy. But wait, mommy. How did Chidima get to know someone that rich? That doesn't seem matter. The fact there is that the switch has already been made, and that is what matters to me. Oh, okay, good. So let's go in and look for that your beautiful dress. So cute. Mm. Mommy is so cute. Did you yeah, see yeah, yeah. So cute. I'm, I'm, so so cute. Cute. I'm sure I'm sure Bianca must be jealous. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Get something to me. Yeah. That's what I mean. So how did it go? Oh, I want to hear the gist. Let me see all the gist. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did it go? Money, it went well. For mom, who would have thought Chidima would attract someone like Kelvin? That one. Yeah, just leave her. Oh. Ooh, sent me a text. <laughs> Let me read it out. Okay. Hello, beautiful. Just want to let you know that I am home now and I can't stop thinking about our conversation. Oh. Wait, I'm really serious about settling down in no time. Hey! And say me hi to my future mother in law. Future <laughs> I will call you in the morning. Good night, love. No. <laughs> oh future God. mother in law. Yeah. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> he said he's seriously going to marry me, that he can't wait, that he wants to marry me. Wow, wow. That's a good news. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a little problem. A problem? Yeah. Kevin will find out that I lied to him about children not being engaged the moment he starts oh. coming close to the family. So we need to look for a way to get rid of her. Do you know anyone that can marry her off within one month? Yes, I do know someone. You do? Yes, mom. I met him at the mall yesterday. Can you imagine he was asking me to marry him? You need to meet him. Okay, no problem. I'll invite him to the house tomorrow. Oh, Is that okay. fine? Yeah. Right. Linda, just to me about your dates. Yes. How did he go with your big catch? Mm. Mm. Okay. You won't believe the restaurant you took me to. Ooh, oh, so nice. Don't oh, worry, wait, wait, I have a picture. Come see, come see, come see. Yes. I'm telling you. See, see, see. See. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, yeah. there you are. Mm -hmm. Meet my friend, Paul. Paul meets my mom and my sister. Oh, good afternoon, ma. Afternoon. Please have your seat. Thank you very much, ma. Oh, um, my daughter told me about your intention to marry her. Yes. <laughs> she seemed like a good person. What do you do for a living? Oh. Um, Ma, I am the CSO at uh, La Jojo's Mall. What does that mean? I, the Chief Security Officer at La Jojo's Mall. That's where I am, Ma. <laughs> Sorry, you mean a gate man? Not really, bro. Bianca also thinks you're a good man. Oh. Really? Yeah. Thank she you. She would have accepted your proposal. But unfortunately, she's engaged. She'll be getting married very soon. <sighs> well, should I say bad news for me? But good news to her. Not actually bad news. For her, she thinks you and her sister will make a good match. Wow. You mean this her sister here? She's equally beautiful. Well, my name is Paul. I, I see. It's not me. 
not her. Yes, sir. Chidem. Chidem, ma. Chidem, ma. Yes, ma. Please come. Um, Paul, meet Chidem, ma. Chidem, ma, meet Paul. Nice to meet you, sir. It's my pleasure here. Paul wants to take you out on a dinner. So you both can get to know yourselves. The dinner date, why? Oh, you have my permission. Are you up for it? Yes. yes. <laughs> you can even go with her now. So you both can go for lunch instead of dinner. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. <gasps> yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. We can go and get this. Linda. Sure, I will do just that. Come, let's go. Let's go. Don't follow me now. Let's go. She's coming, huh? Let's go. Move, move, move. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Don't worry, she's fine. Sit down with her. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Mom, oh. let me go help. Then I go. Oh. Oh. Hurry up. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's not you, okay? Okay, mommy. I'm between two. I'm sorry, ma'am. Forgive my manners. Nice one we have here. Thank you. So, what's that thing you say you do for a living again? What is it? Oh, I say that. Uh, I'm the chief security officer at La Jojo's Mall. I take care of everything. I'm the last person to leave the mall. Chief security officer. Yes, I'm the uh, royal chief security officer. Yes, yes. When will I behold the setting sun? Just a little longer. Just a little longer. Don't you put out the lights Whatever will be, will be You're not ending in this misery You're a woman of ability A resourceful woman ends it with what you need See sorry Can I be honest with you? I... I don't have enough cash here That will... Take us with Okada to a far distance to go and eat. But I have money. But can we just look for somewhere around and eat? Then we can talk. Okay? Okay. Do you like the moi moi? Looks nice. <laughs> Aha. Um, Chidema, is it true that uh, Madame Helen is not your biological mother? No, she is not. But she doesn't have to know that I told you that. Why? She might not like the idea. Even though I know I'm doing the right thing by telling you. Because it's not good to start a relationship on the foundation of lies. I strongly believe that honesty is the best policy. Wow. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Why do you want to date me? A guy like me? What do you mean by a guy like you? A broke guy. Because you are broke today doesn't mean you can't have money tomorrow. How are you sure I will make it tomorrow? From the little that you told me, you seem to be a very hardworking man and also God-fearing. It's only a matter of time before you be successful. <laughs> Chidema, you are indeed an amazing person. And I'm very sure you know that already. I do. But sometimes I question it. Why? You will not understand. Oh, make me understand. Have you ever been in a place where you're constantly being talked down upon, verbally abused and physically abused, mentally abused as well. Have you? No. Then you will not understand.
Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you for going out with me. You're welcome. Chief, so you can go in. I'll walk him, okay? Bye. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Hmm. So, how did it go? <laughs> Great. She's fascinating. Oh, that means you like her. <laughs> yes, ma, I like her. Lucky you. <laughs> She's you. head over head in love with you. In love? With you. Yes. She told me this in the kitchen when we went to get drinks for you. If I were you, I would put the question before someone else does. <laughs> You're right, Ma. I, I would have loved to do that if I have the money to pay for a bride price. I would like to do the necessary thing now before taking her home. Don't worry about the bride price. Just pop the question and she's all yours. Ah, uh, is that easy? Yes. You are a young man that is just starting life. What kind of a mother will I be if I start demanding for bride price over my daughter's head? Just come with your people and get acquainted with us. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, you take her home. Then whenever you're able to save the money, you pay her bride price. The wow. most important thing is that you both love your sins, isn't it? Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank that you very it. much, sir. That settles it. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, sir. So we expect to see you and your family. All right. Okay? I will, ma'am. Thank so, you. Ah, no, 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 no. You don't need to thank me. Thank you for accepting my daughter. <laughs> yeah? My pleasure. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. All right. I have to run now. Ah, go, 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 go. Thank okay. you very much for your kindness. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you for accepting my daughter. Thank hmm? you, ma. Bye. Thank you. Sorry for the stress. Okay? Let me help you with your bag. Uh, don't worry, I, I'll carry it. Okay. Let's go inside then. Hi. Come inside. Okay. Hey. Watch your head here. Watch your head. Yo. Hey, oh, what is it? Sorry. Sorry, careful. Chi, you're welcome to our humble abode. Huh? It's my humble house. Uh, it's okay. Just give me your bag. Let me anchor it somewhere. Uh, don't worry. In fact, let's leave it here. Oh, hey, sorry. Easy, easy. I'll keep it here until we get a, a better corner to it. Yeah. Let me go and show you where you can fetch water. Uh, it, it's okay, I'll find my way around. Didn't you say you're still on duty? You should be going back to work, oh, right? I forgot. Yes, um, I'll still go back. Uh, gee. Um, Chidam. I... 
Can you help me uh, manage this money and cook something with it? There's only money in my pocket. My account ran dry after paying rent here. Yeah. Please, could you please manage it? It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome to my home. Hmm. Fine girl. <laughs> It's alright, I, I have to run now. Have a good day at work. And you too. Have a good day at home. <laughs> yes, alright, see you later. Mm -hmm. Uh, ah. Welcome. Thank you. I, I heard you, so I decided to bring your food. Uh, sit down. Uh, sorry, I rearranged the place. I hope you like it. Beautiful. <laughs> I never knew my house is this precious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so yes. much. Um, please sit down. How was work? Oh, it was hectic. Although I bless God. <laughs> He was very tired. Mm. He must be really hungry. Yes, I'm starving. Okay, would you like to freshen up before you eat or...? Mm, 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 mm. Let me have the food first. I'm very hungry. Okay. <laughs> wow. There you go. Oh, you kept this one here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jollof rice. Ah, uh, yes. How come? But I... I only gave you a thousand naira when I was leaving. I have my ways. And have you forgotten that you have raw rice and a few food stuff? All I needed was just spices. Mm. Eat your food. The aroma is nice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just enjoy while I prepare you water to beat. So that after you're done eating, it's just freshen up. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need anything else? Uh, nothing for that. What I say? Thank you. Excuse me. Jim. Please take. Manage it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a blessed day at work. Thank you. And you too.
saying I have been the one you've always been interested in. Still. Food is ready. As you have provided for us, may you provide for our friends, our family, even our enemies, so that they eat and forget all about us. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm between two faces. My beliefs and my fears. <laughs> all of my words. It's like nobody keeps how mm. <laughs> like it so nice. <laughs> Thank you. On. When will I behold the setting sun? <laughs> Just a little longer. Mm. Thank you. Just a little longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It will be alright. Hold on, don't you put out the lights. Whatever will be, will be. You're not ending in this misery. You're a woman of ability. A resourceful woman ends up with what she needs. Hold on, it will be alright. Hold on. Don't you put out the lights Whatever will be, will be You're not ending in this misery You're a woman of ability A resourceful woman ends up with what she needs Chi, sorry I did not leave any money for you to cook because I didn't get any tip from work yesterday so please Manage until I come back. Hopefully, I will get some money who will cook when I come back. Bianca, what a surprise. Is this where you live? Yes. This shit hole? Bianca. What? Sorry. Um, can I offer you a seat? No, we can't afford to take that risk. Yes. We will not want people taking pictures of us and posting online, leaving us to explain what we're doing in this kind of place. Where's your room? We want to go in. 
Come here, it's this way. First door by your right. You're welcome. Um, so how are we supposed to go, please? Um, thank you. going to come out of this cage that we just entered this room is so tiny freaking tiny look at look at look at look at look at oh my ew mm. oh my god you know i have always known that this guy is broke but i didn't know that he is this poorly poor yak just look at next i'm sure mosquitoes will be watching this house <laughs> No, no, you should stop laughing so she doesn't hear you. I have always known that she was going to end up horribly. And all thanks to mom for hindering her from getting married to the richest guy I know, which is now my fiance. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Without that, mom is hard. Look at, look at the even cook in here. Please, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Open, open, open. Ew. Ew. Mm. Um. Um, ain't you gonna offer us anything? Um, what can I offer you? What do you have? Um. We understand that you and your husband are broke as hell, so don't bother. But you know what? Um, why don't you take this and go get us some drink? On a second thought, why don't you buy it on your way home? Hmm? Excuse you. Excuse you. I have things to do. Things like what? For instance, finish up my laundry. Oh. Clean up the whole house and cook for my darling husband. Oh, you mean washing of clothes? This is not laundry, this is actually washing of clothes with your hand. <laughs> Anyways, hmm? you know what, babes? Let's just go so we can leave her to wash our clothes and that of her husband. And say me hi to your husband. Oh, this place smells like shit! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ibi, how was work today? Horrible. She. I can't believe I didn't receive any tip today. Uh. Not even a dime. And I won't be receiving my salary until month end. What? God. What do we do? What do we do? Hey, she. That means we'll have to go to bed again tonight on an empty stomach. Um, we don't have to do that, okay? Uh, I will. Let me see what I can fix for us to eat, no matter how small, okay? Just stop. Uh, Change. I'll, I'll be back. Relax. Uh, I'll be back.
Chi, mm. how did you manage to get the Gary and the granuts? Well, I I remember that I had this 200 naira I saved from the 1000 naira he gave me to cook the other day. So I just used it to buy Gary and granite. Though it was not enough to add sugar. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you accept to marry me? Even when you know I can give you a better life. Why? Well, you may not have money today. But you're focused and you're hard working. You could be a millionaire by tomorrow. Who knows? But being consistent, dedicated to your work, these are attributes to being successful. And I know that's only a matter of time before you actualize your big dreams for your future. Meaning that you believe I can become someone in the future, other than who I am today? Of course. Absolutely. Paul, I love you because you're hardworking. I see the effort you put in every day into your work. Just one day, sooner than later, your dreams will come true. And you'll be bigger and better than this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. For? <laughs> For being an amazing wife. Mm -hmm. And the best thing that has ever happened to me. Thank you. Same here. Uh -huh. Back to the story I was telling you about mm. the two clowns at our workplace today. What did he do this time? <laughs> hey, the one that I told you about that is Onyeka. Ah, when he, he took off from that show. Hey! <laughs> Why? Hi. Hello, welcome. Thank you. How was work today? As usual. You sound exhausted. Yes, I am. And all for nothing. You can't believe that after standing up from morning till night, opening the gates, the doors for all these rich people who could not spare a tip. For a gets man like me. Babe, I know you work really hard to provide for us. Extremely hard. And I don't take it for granted. That's why I don't complain. It's okay. We'll manage the loot that we have. But I assure you, very soon. Very soon, our breakthrough will come and we will smile. You'll see. Chi. Hmm? You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> and that's why I love you. I and love, I you, love more. you too. No, I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Come. <sighs> well, uh, since I didn't get any tea from anyone today, I had to use my transport money to buy corn and coconut for us to eat tonight. So how would you get to work tomorrow? Don't worry. I'll figure that out. Oh, okay, I I have a little change saved from the money you always drop for food. I saved like 100 naira. You can use that one for transport. Oh, you don't bother yourself. I said I'll figure it out. I am not asking. I am telling. <sighs> Yes, boss. <laughs> Let me put this in a place. It's alright. <laughs> so, how is the day too? Well, I'll tell you when I come back. I'm coming. Okay. Uh, the plate. Sorry. <laughs> Mm. 
the corn is nice. Even when I was buying it today, the judge told me it's nice, but I didn't believe her. You won't believe what happened to Oh, um, you can go first. <laughs> I I ran into your stepsisters today. Hmm? I can't believe what they told me. Well, As you can see, we are both doing okay. What are you doing here? I am going home. Mm. Yes. Uh, well, you know you cannot see any boss here. Now, why not just take a bike out there? Yes, I'm sure your wife must be missing you at home. Oh, sorry. I, on the contrary, I can't just uh, take a bike. Why not? But oh. it's just 200 naira from here to your case. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you can't afford it? Oh, see, we would have given you a lift, but we're not going away. Bianca, do you have the money to give him? Um, let me check. Oh, oops. I'm so sorry, I don't have any change. I only have thousands of naira in my bag. Oh, sorry. Oh, she doesn't have change, she just has thousands of naira. Okay, no, just keep trekking, eh? Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Seriously, they did that to you? Yes. Those girls. They were here some time ago. They came to mock me and make jest of me for marrying a poor man. Some time ago. But I can't remember you telling me anything concerning them coming to the house. I didn't want to bother you with their nonsense. They're not worth it. Well, they might be right after all. Stop it. Stop that. Don't do that. Linda and Bianca are two spoiled brats. They've never suffered or struggled for anything their whole life. Their mother spoils them by providing everything they needed. So they are clueless about the reality of life. Let's not let our words bother us, okay? It's alright. Jim. This is why I love you. I love you too. So, what is it that you said you want to share with me? Uh, 
pregnant. What? What's wrong? You don't look happy. Talk to me. I thought we agreed not to have a child until we're financially stable. Yes, but but we also agreed that if it happens, we're keeping it, right? That's a huge responsibility. You don't understand. I know. But we are two smart people. I'm very sure we figure a way out to make our child comfortable so that when he or she comes, they won't have to feed from hand to mouth like we are doing. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. For the love we share, I'll try as much as I can to get another job. Get more jobs to make more money before the baby comes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Cheer up, okay? Don't do this. <laughs> You're going to be a father. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Come here. <laughs> wow. Oh, my baby. <laughs> What kind of job did she do to get the money she spent on all this? You're back. Yes. What is this? Oh, um, that's a three-layer fruit hanger for the baby. And uh, how did you get it? Oh, I bought it. You know, we have to start buying small, small for the baby. You bought? Mm-hmm. I also made your favorite meal. With big, big fish this time, not crayfish as always. <laughs> That's exciting. And where did you get the money? Oh, I did a job and I got paid. A job? Mm hmm. What job? Uh, hold that thought, okay? Why don't you just freshen up while I get your food ready? I'll tell you all about the job, okay? <laughs> I know you must be very hungry. Yes, I'm starving. I know, so just. Chill, relax, and cool. <laughs> Come in, something special for you today. to work babe see you when you return from work use the money i left on the notes for bike in case you don't get tips today i love you Oh, 
him. Mm. This Egusi soup is very rich. I know. Mm. Even added uh, enough meat in it. <laughs> yes. Tell me, how did he get the money? Oh, I did another job. Another job? The same job you didn't want to tell me about yesterday? Yep. So, tell me about it now. Um... Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I was the one who locked it, sir. Yes, sir. No, it was after I closed uh, from my work day, so I went uh, for checkup. So I saw one of the back doors open. So I decided to lock it, sir. Yes, to avoid someone breaking through it. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, but, yes. Okay, sir. But, sir, is there any problem? Oh, thank you, sir. Very well, then. Thank you, sir. Okay, good night, sir. All right. He's my boss. Okay. Yeah. He was asking who locked the back door. I told him I was the one. One of the back doors from the mall there was open, so I had to lock it. You know, they once broke uh, one of the back doors from the mall and there. Uh, really? Yeah. Did they take anything? Yes. They... Made away with some goods and they thought they broke into. Wow. You're back early today. 
I I didn't go to work today. What happened? Are you sick? I... I followed you to the side today. She... Is that the kind of job you've been doing to support us? Uh, honey, it's not as hard as it looks. No. She can't be doing that kind of job. Not in your condition. I knew you were going to react this way, which is why I didn't bother to tell you. You're right, but I won't allow you to continue with that kind of job. Okay? Okay, fine. Henceforth, I will double my hustle. Gee, I did not get married to you to turn you to a, a construction worker. Fine. I already told them that I won't be coming again. I'll be able to save a lot of money, enough to start a food business. Food business? Yes, and I have already bought everything I need for it. All I need to do is wake up early tomorrow morning, cook and off I go. How? Jehovah, thank you Jesus. Father, I thank you. <laughs> How? Obi, thank you. Come. Mm. Thank you so much. Have you had anything to eat today? I've not had anything. I'm famished. Uh, okay, um, let me quickly make something to eat. Uh, but I left money for food. Why didn't you take it? I... Um, Why is it I, too small? I, I, it's okay. Let me use it and buy something to make for you. Gone out to sell again today. God. I don't deserve her. What? What? Is she really this nice? Or she's just.
You said there is something you would like to discuss with me. Yes. Um, one minute. Here. What is it? Open it and see. Did you get this huge amount of money from? I saved it from the business. How much is this? Two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Honey, I want us to use this money and get us a spacious apartment. And then use the rest to stock up the house before the baby comes. These days I'm always getting weak, so I won't be able to continue the business for now. Honey, what is it? Why are you crying? I, I thought this would make you happy. Jeez. 
You're a good woman. You've told me this a million times before. And I mean every word I say. You're a good woman. You're a good man too, Paul. No. Opium. I haven't been honest with you ever since we got married. Oh, how do you mean? I was waiting for the right time. You threatened to do what? <laughs> Please stop. To show you and to make you know who I am. Honey, just get ready. There is something I would like to show you. What are we doing here? Well, uh, this is uh, one of my houses. The one I live in. <laughs> what? I'm serious. No, you're not. These are my cars. <laughs> are you there dreaming? This is, uh, is this a prank? I'm not dreaming. That is a prank. It's my house. It, it can't be. You don't live here. You live in the slum with me. And how can you even afford to pay rent here? Stop it. Why are you... Why are you playing around? Oh, Stop. Me. How can I be paying rent when I'm the landlord here? I don't pay rent. It's what? my house. Oh, you guys are here. That's my uncle over there. Uh, uncle, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. That's my mother's uh, my dear, you? younger brother. Come on in. Come. Let's go. Come on. Yes, man. Honey, let's go. It's my house. Come on. Stop this. Come on. Let's go. It's my house. I can't tell you lies. How <laughs> could she scared? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. So, you have been deceiving me? No. You hid your identity to me? No. Oh. My family, before oh. marrying me, you lied no. to me! No. No. You lied! Yeah, no, my dear, my dear. It's because of his late father's experience. Yes. Your father? Yes. When I lost my mother, my father remarried. But the woman he got married to was a gold digger. She squandered everything my father and my mother built together. Yet, she left him for his business partner. Heartbreak and bankruptcy sets in. One day, my father was coming up from a drinking bar. He ran into a truck and died at the sport. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Watching my father go through that painful experience made me vow never to trust any woman again. So, when Bianca told me that she has a sister that she would want me to meet, I only accepted just to honor her invitation. But meeting you and your stepmother telling me to marry you without even paying your bride price. It became clear that they just want to get rid of you. 
That alone changed my perception. Chi, I married you. Still pretending to be poor. Just to know if you truly love me. But right now, I am fully convinced that you're, you're really Chidema. And I can never take that for granted. I love you. to officially marry Chidema. Here. For her bride price. I know she's worth more than this. But this is what she said I should give to you. One million naira. That reminds me, that car parked outside, is it yours or your boss's own? <laughs> and what are you into now? <laughs> well, um, the car you saw outside is one of my cars. Before you is the CEO of Phoenix Oil and Gas. What? Yes. Aside other businesses I have, both local and international. Wait, so you're saying that you're the CEO of Funis and Oil and Gas? Yeah, correct. Madam, my wife and I will be relocated abroad. That's where we've agreed to raise our kids. Yeah. Abroad? Is that so chidden? Yes, ma'am. We just thought it would be nice to come and inform you. They said God works in mysterious ways. And my story is a proof that he indeed works mysteriously. It's like nobody. Hello. How are you? All right, Mom. Whatever will be, will be. You're not 
but ending in this misery. You're a woman of ability. A resourceful woman ends up with what you need. Winnie, what's happening? We never knew he was a disguised rich man. He works in oil and gas company. Oh my goodness. Hey. That would have been me. Of course, that would have been you. But you're busy sleeping with other people's boyfriend. You slut. Are you stupid. Oh, you shut up. Are you mad? If you call me a slut again. I don't understand what people like. It's like that is how I You are mad if you come on. Come on, I'll slap you now. Come on, you get out. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you?